looking to the top of the pyramid just to see just the half. Just the half of the pyramid. This is wide angle of construction first and then we choose to be narrow angle. And second and third. This is the second mistake of the this one built when that's it 2000 2000 no, 2740 BC. Like that. Exactly. Yeah. You know, it's just one of the most well preserved outer casing, outer cover. So you could apply the same thing for the great pyramids in Elizabeth too. Should be, you know, after making a pyramid, they used to put a plaster, I mean, the outer cover or outer casing like this. So the well preserved outer casing for a pyramid is this pyramid. How did they do that? Huh? How did you do it? Yes. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Look at if you concentrate on the bottom the stone, there's some stones start to be cracks on it. Yeah. Look at that one front of you over there. Yeah. You can see do, do cracks. So the same thing for in, a lot of stones around. So that's why they reduce the, the angle of construction to relieve the pressure on but the bottom stone. And it's not that's that you have no earthquake here, no? No, there is earthquake. But uh, the last earthquake struck to Egypt at 1992. Giza Plateau at 17th century AD. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the Sphinx at that time <coughs> covered by sand, even the neck. Oh. So, and they found the people, they come to that statue, okay, for like kind of worshiping. Okay, because at that time they are believing what? They are believing the sand use not comes to Giza or the, to their homes because the Sphinx is guarding. This is the ancient belief. So, you know, to cancel this idea from the minds of the uh, Egyptian, the, he disfigured the face of the nose of the sand. Just like you say, you know, you are believing that statue prevent you know, the sand storm from your place. No, I'm destroying the nose. I'm uh, damaging uh, the statue. So, so punish us by, you know, sand storm. He tried, you know, to cancel this eye from the Egyptian's mind at that time. Okay? But you, I would like to do something funny. When he destroy the nose, there is something happen. Sand storm come, come to Egypt. <laughs> That's happened, really. Uh, yeah, sandstorm. Yeah, sandstorm like, started coming. Yes. So, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. You know, we are not believing on you know pagan or something. Like that, but, but you know, there is some you know like you know magic power. Ancient Egyptian, they are very skillful uh, in magic. Magic. Yeah, yeah very skillful. And uh, I would like to do something else. You know, ancient Egyptian, they worship for one god. We are gonna be surprised by this. Ancient Egyptians, they know one God. So how come God and goddesses, God of love, God of, uh, God of uh, dance, God of mummification? Because the ancient Egyptians they didn't have a term of uh, angel. Angel, they didn't have this. So they said, you know, the helpers of that one God, God as well, but God of. God of love, God of mummification, God of, but should be angel of beauty, angel of love, angel, but they don't have that term in ancient Egyptian language. So that one God is sun. So that's why you could say Imen Ra. Okay? Ra or Akhti. Okay? Always with Ra on the end. It means that God is a helper of Ra. He get his own strength from Ra. Oh. So, uh, uh, yeah. oh, I need to ask you. Gods, names of gods, you know. Tell me names of gods. Ra, okay. Okay, one more, one more for the guy, for the guy. Take care, baby. Take care, baby. 
But at least you know you know now your health is perfect. Your heart is strong. Your knee is you know very healthy. So this is a good trial for you. You know to test your uh, your body. Your, Uh, that post tour bus that is our bus hired by one week as the entrance Okay. Hello. Smile. We found it here in all over the world is silk. So the silk rug is the oldest piece of rug we found it here in Egypt. Mesh. So, uh, so a lot of a lot of people they are saying, you know, maybe. Okay, the silk is so delicate, so okay, so you know, uh, you know, very easy to not you know, torn it. But this is obvious. Okay? So as you see here, to make a knot, there's two layers of silk. Okay? One in the back and one in the front. To make a knot, you have to use the one straight. The first layer and the second straight. From the second layer to the second direction. You know, it's so skillful. First, you get this, okay? You get one and the second one on the back. Not the one, not the dark one on the back. This is Should we have a skill? So that's why not in the person could work on silk. Should we have soft descriptions like small figure, bigger, okay, should be easy to pick up, and a lot of training in the woolen rods before you know to work on the silk. And plus the material is so precious because to get silk, natural silk, 
Okay, this is a big deal now. Okay? So, uh, and, and no waste. This is the most important thing. Don't waste a lot. Because after this, now it's difficult to see. But after this, gonna scissor it. So what I'm gonna waste it as a scissoring is not that much. So it's skillful if he saved the material of silk. And it's gonna take more money, okay? If he saved, okay, the raw material. So how to make a knot? To make a knot, as I told you, I'm gonna ask him to make it slow motion. But this is the perfect time to do He picked up, okay, strings. So one from the front and one from the back. And around the first, then around the second, from down. And cut it. One more time. <laughs> Ahmed is my friend and my, uh, my, uh, my neighbor. Okay? Is Ahmed going to be your local guide? going to explain to you everything about that traditional industry. Okay? Me, I'm going to say hi for my friends. All of them, they are my neighbor. I told you I'm living here. So if you like anything, okay, for, for free. Our neighbor. <laughs> Our neighbor before. Okay. That's it. Because this is the first time to use a stone, okay, as a new material to make okay. construction, okay. So the builders of this complex, they did not have any experiences about, you know, the stone, how to deal with the stone, and even the durability of the stone. So they found out, you know, the best building in Memphis, it was the Palace of the King in Memphis. And the, that palace made out of mud brick, and they applied or they did an imitation or blind imitation for the palace of the king in Memphis here. Okay. What we can see here is a replica for the palace of Zoser in Memphis, but made out of stone. And because they didn't have experiences about how to deal with the stone, so that's why they applied the mud brick construction when they started to do this. So whatever they have it, mud brick construction, they applied it here. And this uh, reflected from a lot of features, like what, like here. Look at the dimension of the stone here. Same dimension as mud brick. So the chest of the stone, same dimension as mud brick. They did not have that, you know, huge block of stone to make, you know, the pyramid or to make the complex. Even the pyramid itself, same dimension as mud brick dimension. So they made this one like a trial and error. Like, you this? know, exactly. The chest What they made this one? Like this one. Like they just tried. If yeah. they can be like this. No, no. So yeah. No, they did a replica because yeah. they found out the palace of the king is most beautiful and the best building so they tried to do oh, okay. this place beautiful as the palace of the king so they did a true replica and because they didn't know how to deal with the stone so they, they split the stone as mud brick mud brick dimension okay and they know to give a strength for a high wall like this made out of mud brick they used to make inner part outer part inner part outer part like buttresses they did not know is enough they did not know is enough to make just flat wall they did not recognize the rules of the stone ever. Okay, so uh, they did it as mud brick high wall. And also, you can see, you know, the pillar inside looks like a bundle of reeds. Because the ancient, I mean, the ancient Egyptian that used to make bundle of reeds to support, you know, the roof of their houses. Here, made out of stone, but still the same shape. Bundle of reeds. Ripped, looks like a bundle of reeds. By the way, that pillar over there is the first pillar made out of stone in human history. First pillar ever made out of stone, that one inside of this complex. Okay? So this area, this area at 1927, it was sand dunes, only sand dunes. Only you could see the pyramid from a distance came up from that sand dunes. So who did a great effort to reveal or you know to do a signature process in this area? And he did a restoration process for all of this. He was a French archaeologist. His name Loire. Loire. Okay, Loire, he was a French archaeologist, came at 1927 and he spent his own entire life to do that mission. And he died in 2006. Yeah, and to be as a honor for him, there's two here in Sakara. Okay? Do you remember that technique before, the English technique? I told you there's two trials with, with a mistake. We saw this. And this is a first mistake. This is the first trial. Yeah, this is the first trial. He used a, a tower technique. So the only three inner towers still intact. And the outer pulling down. So which is still intact even now, only the three inner towers. Okay. okay? So this is the first trial. This is the second trial. Okay? And the most successful trial 
is this. What you have been inside of it. Yeah. This one. Mm. This is a pyramid of Giza Plateau. Okay? So I Hello Hello is it live. Yeah, yeah, live. No 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 video only because of oh. no internet. Okay, say something, Kiara. Say, say something, that. I'm giving up on you. Oh. This is our <laughs> sleeping <laughs> train. <laughs> So, no, I'm so being sad. this is the oh, bed. This one no. to be converted. Dude, he was like converted. He was like, Remember, I'm sleeping bed. at the yeah. bottom. Oh, and and now, because I'm the only one. And then he was looking at you. You want to sleep like, on the bottom? No, yes. The and I'm going to sleep yeah. top. Sure. top. Yes. I was like this. No, oh, no. But if you fall on your head, I'm going to sleep bed. Have you realized? Yeah. And wait, wait. I want to. No, he was like that. What's wrong with that? I want to put you. Wait, stop. That they do. She said, oh, look, this is the wash sink. Sleeping train. Let's give them a full tour. She, she's okay, full tour. She's okay. Hi guys, so today we are going to show you a tour. So first, when you enter, wait till you give us the tour, go. Oh. Enter. That is Chairs. the sink. Mom, <laughs> Chair. Bed. Sink. Washing stuff, and that's pretty much it. It's not that interesting. And then um, here, wardrobe. and wardrobe. Ish. 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 And mirror. Oh, you're not pizza. And then on the other side, it's the same but opposite. Think! <gasps> Bedroom stuff. Closet ish. Temperature. <laughs> oh, chill, I video that whole thing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's moving. <laughs> Sit down. Our windows are amazing. You see this view. Oh, there are people sleeping. Well, it's... <laughs> Hello. Sit down, sit down. You want to watch the video? Sit down, sit down. <laughs> Ready? One. You're the princess. Person. No, this, yeah, person. No, do see princess. It's easier. No. Yeah, three. Oh, okay, the person. To be a person, you must have beige underwear. To be a person, you must have a thousand hair. When your boobs are falling off, and your butt cheeks won't skip pop. And you need to pee, but there is no toilet. Like now. <laughs> to be a person, you must wax your legs. Oh, all the time. But let's go. When you swim, wait, when you swim, Wait, what? Where is swimming? Where is swimming? Dude, when you said, no one wants to see your thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, that was bad. Can we do it again? Okay, yeah. okay. Listen. One, two, three. To be a person, you must wear beige underwear. To be a person, you must have a thousand hair. When your boobs are falling off, and your butt cheek wants to pop, and you need to be, but there is no toilet. Like right here. To be a princess, you must wax your wax your legs. Wear a swimming suit when you sit. No one wants to see your thing. <laughs> thank you, thank you. The gentleman from the house will tell you everything about what you do in the place. Good. I'll wait inside for you to finish. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Uh, you are welcome here in our factory of Alabaster. I hope you enjoy your time in Luxor. Yeah. And I hope you understand my English. Yeah. I'll do my best in English as far as possible to give you a brief idea about what we work here. Here, we make some shape from different kinds of stone. Granite, basalt, limestone, and alabaster. Let me start by a small test, small question. You can tell me which one alabaster, which one basalt, which one granite. It's I think a small. granite. Alabaster. Okay, you? Granite. Start. Granite. <coughs> and? Alabaster. Alabaster and basalt. Basalt. You? Yeah. Same? I think this is yeah. granite. Yeah. Granite, alabaster, basalt. Basalt, basalt. Yeah. This is granite, yeah. Yeah. Same? Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, let me start. This is the first color is white, alabaster. Oh. Alabasta. Oh. Alabasta. Show everybody. No. Alabasta. Alabasta. Second. Alabasta. Brown. Alabasta. What's that? That's alabasta. Brown. Brown. Alabasta. Then alabasta. Third color is green. Alabasta. Oh. 
Alabasta. Small trick. Small trick. So white, brown, green. Three colors from one material. Alabasta. Alabasta. Mm. We, bring, okay. we bring alabaster stone from the mountain here in Luxor, behind Valley of the King, about 40 kilometers from here. We bring it big size, big block like these blocks. Mm. And we use donkeys and camels to bring these blocks here because no road for car. Mm. After we bring the pieces here, give the block to the artist to make the primitive form, first shape of vase by Hamad, same ancient each time. Pasta. Stop. Thank you. After finish the four, this is a primitive finish chip. Wow. Wow. Second stage, I want to drill it inside. But if I start to drill inside hard work without protection outside, all the piece will break. So second stage, make a protection for the piece before start to work inside. How? Like this, look, we wrap it all the bees by cotton material, mm -hmm. like that, to make protection for the form. After that, make a hole in the ground, same size like that, and put it inside to be under control. Doesn't move in the machine. When I start to drill it, same with the ram. Thank you. I need your help here. Yeah. Oh. No. Come on. <coughs> Give me your left hand. That. Go inside. Come inside. Okay. Photo. Work. Artist. Photo, yeah. Photo. Photo for the artist. Oh, and yeah. Turn it. Turn it. Pastor. Oh. Pastor. Pastor Fiera. Pastor. Pastor. Come on, Gail. Yeah, come on, Gail. Yeah, come on, yeah, do it, Gail. Yeah, you can do it. Here we go. The bush. No. You got it. Yeah. It's easy. The bush. Yeah. The bush. Hey. The bush. Hey. The bush. Hey. The bush. Hey. The bank. 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 The My queen, show us the three colors in light. Make light inside. Put the light inside. Put the light inside. Put inside. Put inside. Yeah. This is the first color is white alabaster. Second one is brown alabaster. Wow. Big wow, big discounts. That's the that's chance. Big wow, big wow. 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 Big
I want this pressure for T light candle light inside two pieces. It's big like that. For the candle. This is white color. They have the brown and green. What about the green? Okay, thank you. This is a scrub for good luck. This is a real color. You would like to drink? Uh, Z take five. Copy. 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 Go. First time I hear this one. Uh, this is this a drink? Yeah. Uh, tea. Tea. The palace for any king. The one there. Once we turn to the left hand side, we will find remains of Amen of uh, Amen Hot of the Third Temple that we call Memnon. This place was listed on the UNESCO list of res rescuing temples for uh, since 1998. Yeah, called Memnon. <laughs> no, it's not Memnon. It's, it's a lot. We're gonna turn around to take pictures. Now, since 1998, it was listed on the UNESCO list of rescuing temples. They started digging here only two years ago. 1948, this was a lake. People were fishing in the lake because the Nile used to flood here. The Nile was very white. There was canals connecting the Nile to the temple, so they used to flood here. The two statues we're speaking about are these two statues. We call them the singing stone. Why the singing stone? Because the earthquake made cracks on the statue. When the air blows, it makes sound like whistling. They thought he was singing. In the early morning, they thought his mother is crying for him because they found dew on the statue. But these are statues of Amenhot of the Third, seated on his throne, and the statues are about 18.7 meters high now. Do you want to get down to take pictures? Yeah. Or from here? Oh. Sige po, sige po. Marayo yan. Pagawa kita na yung statue ganyan. That's good? Ha. Ganyan natin. Yan, gayahin mo rin. Gawa mo rin sa statue na ganyan. Let's go, let's go. Can I take a group picture for you all? Yes, please. Yeah, yes.